Once upon a time in ancient Greece, there was a king named Midas. King Midas's three favorite things were his daughter, his rose garden, and his gold. He also loved seeing his daughter picking his lovely red roses and putting them in his golden vase. One day, as King Midas was walking through his garden, he, he came up upon a satyr. A satyr is basically half man and half goat. So the satyr that King Midas saw was looking that was looking very weak. So King Midas helped him up, brought him back to his castle, and he told the servants to prepare dinner for the satyr. The dinner that the servants made was very delicious, and they all ate a lot. When it was time to sleep, King Midas carefully tucked in the satyr. Finally, morning came. And when it was morning, the satyr looked very well. So King Midas decided to take the satyr back to where he lived. King Midas asked, Say, where do you, where do you live, satyr? The satyr said, Oh, I live on Mount Olympus over where all the gods live. So, King Midas drove his finest carriage up Mount Olympus. So when Saturn the Saturn finally came up the mountain, the gods were very pleased to see him. So pleased that one god decided to grant one of King Midas's wishes. So King Midas thought for a while. I already gave my daughter everything she wanted. And my roses are the most beautiful in Greece. Well, what about my gold? Let me think. So when he finally knew what wish he wanted, he said, my wish is everything I touch will turn to gold. With the snap of his fingers, the god said, now that your wish is granted, you can go. So King Midas dashed back to the castle. And to prove that it was true, he touched a chair. It turned to gold. He touched the table, and it turned to gold. And he touched the vase. It turned to gold. King Midas was so happy with his new power that he raced around the castle, touching everything in sight. Soon all his windows, his walls, the doors, and the table were all gold. He decided to have a feast in honor of his new power. And, but he was already so hungry from racing around the castle. He grabbed a handful of food and it turned to gold. He touched another a loaf of bread. It turned to gold. He was so sad about his new wish. So he decided to take a walk in the garden. On his, on his walk in the garden, his daughter saw her father and said, and raced for a hug. But the moment she touched him, she turned to gold. King Midas was so sad, he started crying. 
and his tears fell on his lovely red roses, and they turned to gold. But King Midas didn't care about the roses anymore, and he didn't care about himself either. And he didn't know what to do. So, at last he thought. He prayed to the gods and told them that he was wrong about his wish. So, the gods came and said that he had to wash his hands in the magical river next to the garden. The moment King Midas' fingertips touched the water, the golden power washed off his fingertips. Then he ran back to the garden, looked for his daughter, and when she saw him, she was alive. She was not gold anymore. The moral of the story is to not be greedy in life and to be happy about what you have instead. Thank you.